everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 4 and looking at the next topic 4.3 Test Automation Maintenance and the subtopic as 4.3.1 Types of Maintenance. So in the previous tutorial we just basically understood about something on the terms of how exactly the deployment of the test automation can happen and there are different deployments as well and following that we also understood a bit about the maintenance there now here we are going to continue further to understand in more detail what could be the types of maintenance first of all let us understand why the maintenance could be probably important in terms of test automation so of course uh, automation is something which comes with the benefit of uh, reusability re repeatability and regressions and a lot of many things like that so uh, once the test script and automation setup is uh, solution is being uh, deployed it, it, it becomes mandatory to be maintained for time to time but at the same point of time we also understand that things have to be updated from several um, interval of time and make sure that things are uh, updated according to the changes in the application or maybe the environment or maybe the SUT or whatever probably the changes which takes place uh, maintenance mode would also be happening accordingly to make sure that the test automation solution is also updated to meet the requirements so here uh, is what we are talking about like developing test automation solution is not trivial they need to be modular scalable understandable reliable and testable so that everything can be customized or it could be also at some points uh, should not be requiring a lot of reputation or extra work to add even more complexity test automation solutions like any other software system have to evolve like from time to time just like a regression test suite as we take updates in the SUT, the regression test suite must also update accordingly to meet the required SUT. Maintaining the task by adapting it to the new system to be tested by accommodating support for new software environments or by making it compliant to new laws and regulation helps to ensure reliable and safe operation of the task. Of course, these can be very helpful to determine the same. Coming up next is about the four different types of maintenance of test automation where we generally talk about the preventive maintenance as first of that which generally means changes are made to make the test support more for test types, test on multiple interfaces, test multiple versions of the SUT or support test automation for a new SUT and that's in terms of like preventive we would like to do a general testing before it could fail in the real time environment. The second one is corrective maintenance which is in terms of like when we detect failures or we detect issues from the real time and we would like to uh, update those things and then we want to uh, take the system under maintenance to make sure that everything is accordingly updated. So we do have corrective maintenance changes are made to correct failures of the task. Perfective maintenance are from the non-functional point of view like quality enhancements or quality characteristics upgradations which would be again done from time to time and would be very critical and important in terms of usability, robustness, reliability, performance and several other factors which would be included in that. Whereas the fourth one is adaptive maintenance as a new software system are launched in the market including operating system, database managers, web browsers, etc. It may be required that the task supports them. Say for example, you created an environment or task or solution for your automation and later you see a Chrome has updated to a newer version or the browser has been updated. Operating system have come with a new patch and maybe it, kind of, it might be obstructing your automation solution. So it is very well, very, very important to go ahead uh, and update your uh, system on the automation solution and that that's what you can call it as like adaptive maintenance which is just to adapt the latest updates according to the environment so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be getting back to you with another tutorial tomorrow and uh, hope you had understood the same and should you have anything else beyond this feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning